want to be in. You know, and, and the example that I use is, you know, for me, I, I um, was pregnant at 18 years old and was on welfare and food stamps at 19 having this baby. And, um, and during that time, had anybody ever asked me, you know, oh, do you think you're serving your life purpose? I would have said absolutely not. No way, right? No way am I meant to be doing this. And, you know, a few years later, I... I, um, I got married to, to a great person and, 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 and was trying to have a baby and had three miscarriages and struggled along the way. And had somebody said, hey, you know, do you think you're serving your life's purpose? I would have said absolutely not. But as all of that has come to a place where now I have so much gratitude and appreciation and I've done the work around forgiving myself and everything else, I can look at every single one of those um, experiences in my life, all of them, and see the purpose in those, which has created the life purpose. And I think so often people look at it, it's like the end of the rainbow. It's at, at the end of my life, I will have served my purpose. And it's at this moment today that right. we're meant to serve our purpose, whatever that looks like in this moment, not in 10 years or 20 years or 30 years. And, and, and it's so simple. I think sometimes we miss the, the simplicity of things. Well, not sometimes. I think more often than not, we, it's pretty easy to miss the simplicity of things. So we're looking for something a lot more. Well, it's like people with past lives. You know, you, you talk with them, and most of them were Cleopatra or, you know, <laughs> right. King. And, and the truth is, you know, if there's past lives that uh, I, I had no famous ones. That, that Yeah, no, me either. I was, the you know, the poor person on the corner. I was the pauper. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, it's always interesting. Well, you know, when you talk about the, those life experiences that you had, there, there's a couple of things I think are really important. One is that, you know, for people who are struggling and that you're trying to, to help with your workshops, it, it, it has to offer a huge amount of hope that you could have come from there to who you are today. Because, uh, you know, if you just take things at their face value, it's hard to think of Sonny at 19 pregnant and on food stamps. It doesn't really ring with your personality as right. it shines through today. Well, and, and I think that's probably why um, Spirit guided me to be so open and so vulnerable in sharing right. all of those things because it, it's important <coughs> in not only in, in, in my purpose in this particular time, um, but in in giving people that hope and that understanding that you can come from wherever you've been and, and you can create whatever it is that you desire. And, 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 and if I can do it in the space that, that I was in, the struggles that I had, um, then there's, there's then anyone else can do it too. So it just offers and provides that hope. And I will tell you that at the beginning, um, I wasn't real comfortable with it. I was like, I don't want all of my... Well, yeah, we want to look good, don't we? Right, yeah, craft yes. choices out there in front of the entire world. And then, you know, Spirit very clearly said, you are to teach through these experiences and as an example of the direction we can go. So no shame um, in where you've been, but actually gratitude to be able to then share with others. And so when I, when I heard it that way, I was able to let go of the of the judgment around it and recognize that you know there's so much value in that for so many other people that I, I can be vulnerable and share that and, and and it tends to be that that's how um, how I work. Is well, it's also a very endearing quality once you really get past all of the worries about how am I going to look. Right. People well, just. Well, and it's, it just so it doesn't matter. It, you know. Yeah, it doesn't it, exactly. It just doesn't matter. It's, it, it's what matters is what what people can take from it how it's affected me how i can grow how they can grow and and what it looks like isn't isn't what it's about well yeah and all that stuff that you went through was really kind of like the the harvard you needed to, to be in the work that you do absolutely and it's well worth every every minute of it you're a reiki master you teach reiki classes i do so for for those in our audience who don't understand what Reiki is all about. How about giving us a synopsis and and why we need Reiki, or for the matter that matter, do we really need it at all? Well, you know, Reiki is something that I kind of stumbled into, um, uh -huh. as most of the most of the things in my life. I was just I was guided there for for unknown reasons, you know, as far as in in my humanness. And um, right. for me, it, it it really helped me to learn to channel my energy. It helped me to learn to become aware of when I was absorbing energy versus to a, be able to observe energy. So, so Reiki is a, is a Japanese um, healing art, and um, it's, just, it's just based on universal energy. Do we need Reiki? No, I don't think that we need it. I think that everybody has the ability to do um, ener 
energy healing themselves without being taught Reiki. Right. Reiki is just one form or one channel that at a particular time in my life I was guided to, and I think that there's great value in it because it helped me um, it, it helped me channel the energy, but is it an, an absolute necessity? No, but I would say for the people that feel guided towards it, there's a reason why we're guided. Well, you know, I, I use a little different word for, for, the, for energy, the word power, because it takes power for you and I to be talking to each other. Sure. And I'm not talking about the technical part of it. I'm just talking about the human part of it. And, and you know, as I've come to understand it, uh, Sonny, this, this journey is about learning the power or the energy that we have and learning its right use. Right. Yeah, and that's a, that's a huge huge part of the journey not not that easy either and it's like and and i think it's just like you said it's it's probably not necessary but it takes every kind of uh, method or technique because of so many different diverse people and our needs are different exactly so you know you, you take the modalities that feel right to you at those particular times and and use them to to the level that you that, that you need and then you pick up new tools and and so they're all stepping stones for us and and for me, that was one that at that time in my life when it came around was really of value, and I still offer it, and I still share it as my way of giving back for all the gifts that I've, that I've, gained, that I've gained from it. Um, but there are lots of different ways. You know, one of the things I wanted to ask you about, I, I have been in the metaphysical uh, world since like 1970, 71, somewhere in there, long time. And, you know, what I found was and this really had a had a lot to do with the image that I held up for myself you know there weren't very very many men who were involved in metaphysics at that point and I still find there are far more women who are spiritually aware or spiritually active than than men do you find that same kind of thing yeah we have the the 10 to 1 ratio usually <laughs> Yeah, it's, a, it's, um, it's interesting, isn't it? What, what do you think the cause of that is? Well, you know, I, I think that, that, that there are, uh, first of all, I have seen it change over the last I 15 years. I have too, years. yep. Um, there are more men um, now than there, than there have been in the past. And I think that part of it is that, you know, women are, ten, we, we tend to even be taught, you know, trust your gut, mother's intuition, that kind of thing. Right. Um, men aren't encouraged to go internal into their feelings. They're encouraged to be more external. And so I think that a lot of that is just society's um, uh, uh, effect and, 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 the, and the way that we've been taught or raised. However, I think that, that my observation is there's a lot of men that are quite sensitive that, 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 can, that, that are aware that there's something going on, but they, they either haven't had a safe place to explore it, um, it hasn't been accepted, um, they feel a little bit odd or weird, and so they just kind of push it down and, and, and ignore it. And, I, and like I say, I do think that's changing, um, and, and I'm so grateful that it is. But, you know, the, the, the male clientele that I have has definitely increased, especially over the last, I would say, three years, um, and in classes probably over the last five. So we, we are gaining, you know, some, some movement in that, in that area. Well, you know, I think if we're going to have any kind of a global transformation, and I'm convinced that we're in that process and heading towards a tipping point, uh, the, the, you know, like men are going to have to be a part of this because, you know, without that, that feeling part, we just find ourselves in too many wars. Right. And well, and, and it, is, it is shifting, and I think, too, that, that a lot of the, um, the, the, the women that have um, been, you know, um, more for lack of a better word, aware of, of, of that spiritual aspect and, 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 and sharing and the intuitive aspect and things. Um, a lot of the women that aren't trying to force it on their husbands, I want to be clear about that, right. um, but that are just exploring their own um, experience and learning and growing, I, I think that a lot of the men that are connected to them are learning through that energy even just being in their home so it, it may not be that they're signed up for a class or they're reading every single book but they it is shifting kind of from the inside out still being exposed well, well like you 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 teach by example that's pretty obvious to me and that's absolutely the best teacher so i can right. see where that would be happening in the home that's a really interesting take on it i appreciate i appreciate hearing that so one of the things that you know like with uh metaphysics you know back 
years ago was was in some 